I feel very like overwhelmed because it's like you're not in your normal routine anymore. I feel like now is the time where people can use this to do something in their life that they really wanted. Yeah. Maybe socialize with your parents or build some skills that they yeah. always wanted to. I come in at nine o'clock with my mum yeah. and we have like a 15 minute briefing where we get told what to do. People that really need help and don't have the money or the ability to go outside and buy food, they're actually getting the help. Thanks for coming in this morning to, to, to help out. Today we've got well over a hundred households that we're providing the food for. And so we need to sort of move at a, a good speed. Half of you will be picking in here and half of you will be picking in the dining hall. Please, otherwise I will shout, you must keep your two meters distance whilst you're doing that. Okay. The first few weeks, I was really scared. I've got four kids at home, so I was just thinking, if I volunteer, imagine I come back with something and give it to them. So I thought, OK, let's see if things go down a little bit and hopefully I can go back to volunteering. Today I came in, I thought I'd give back, be thankful for all of us, like in my household, everyone is OK, everyone's happy. And I know a lot of people are scared, just like how I was feeling the last few weeks. So I thought, you know what, if I can face my fears, then hopefully I can inspire more people to come out and volunteer. Personally, I think if everybody chips in, or even if you just give like five pounds, it makes it, a, it makes a big yeah. difference. Even two pounds, three pounds, you could just donate it. Yeah, so hopefully we can get more people to join and take part. It's like you pick one of everything. One of everything, yeah. And then you know the white cheese that says large this? Put that much. So like the tuna, I say it's four so large. So first, I pick everything. Yeah, and then everything in this bag. Yeah, one of everything. Oh. Neha, it's a baby. Then I like. My baby is not coming. Good. Then I'm not allowed. Because can you all help? All help. Can you help? 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 Can you well, I'd like to have the local community in that. I'm involved with the Legion, Robert's Legion on that, and uh, we'd like to do a bit and help everybody out. I know there's quite a few people that can't get out, and I said, I'm on four lock at the moment, so I might as well make the use of my time. If they're sitting at home, they've nothing to do. There's only so much you can do indoors. Get out and give people a hand. And do six there, six Wait, there, um... six there, and six here. How have you felt about volunteering so far? Good. Lovely. We've packaged all sorts of things. You know, I'm very glad I'm getting involved. I'm proud. My family's proud of me. You know, that's a big benefit to getting involved. Also, instead of wasting time at home, we're doing, we're doing this, which is absolutely wonderful. When, I, when we finish with lockdown, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get loads and loads of kebab. Yes. Like, I, I'm going to get... 50 pounds and spend it all on kebab. That's 10 kebabs. I'm going to celebrate uh, with my friends and go exploring, camping or whatever. And how did you feel when the emergency was declared? Uh, I was really sad because um, uh, someone died in, in my dad's family oh, because of the coronavirus. And yeah, it's been really hard for my parents and to get over it. Uh, How easy is it to cut? Yeah, yeah it's like, it's, it's not very easy. Yet. Extra large families, we can give, but that's only, that takes us down to still needing a hundred done. Um, we're going to have to put them into bags. So, oh, what I thought we could do is we could cut cardboard squares and then we could take these and put these at the bottom of the bag and then we put the eggs on top and then we close the bag and that will provide a rigidity so it doesn't break apart in transportation. So this is a slightly different food bank uh, because food banks rely on donations from different companies. Because we set it up so quickly, yes. what we decided to do was to, in actual fact, use the school's catering company, Chartwell's, Right. which is owned by Compass yeah. mm -hmm. and so we buy, of course we buy the stuff 
from them through funding from our Just Giving uh, page and also from the Heston West Big Local and we're looking to get some additional funding. We do get some donations of food, so Morrison's very kindly have given us some food here and there's yes. some more food over there. Right. This is the picking operation, yes. so we've divided the households into small, large or extra large. Mm -hmm. Depending on the size of the household will depend on what they get. You know, there is actually a real lot of stuff that people are getting. Oh, right. And uh, very kindly, Morrison's also donated Easter eggs. We've got references from the school, families that we know that are vulnerable, references from Barclay Academy. We get social care give us references. Right. Local councillors, they've been involved, they've helped out, they've been here doing the work as well, yes. and the British Legion as well. Hello Andy, could you open the gate for Mar please? Uh, she's just arrived with the food from Morrison's. So I've just been to Morrison this morning. They, they donated a large parcel of, my car was full of, of, of goods, and they donate regularly every week. So in the mornings, I just go pick it up, pick up the stuff, then we put them in, in, in sections, and then I think we have quite a few volunteers today to do to do the driving. So we just need to do the sourcing. I'm so surprised. You know, in Spain, it's, I'm from Spain. It's compulsory to wear masks. So when I go to the shops, nobody, people who work in the shops, nobody was wearing masks. You think? Yeah. Even even if it's only a deterrent. Yeah. You know. It's is this your first time? Yeah, first time of packing. Yeah. But and normally I volunteer. Okay, yeah. very good. I've been doing it since week one, I think. And it's nice to see how they, we've improved in the, in the system. The first week I found the bags a bit too... Heavy. Well, too heavy and too rubbish bag. Yeah. And it's like, can we not just present them in a nice... Uh, yeah, yeah. You know. But uh, I think like that is okay because it's the only way. Plus they can use them for their own rubbish, so it's okay. I was watching the news a lot and then I saw like the numbers were going up so I started getting anxieties. Mm. So what I done was I stopped watching the news, went for walks, so what I do is I just live opposite okay. the school. So what I do is bridge to bridge. And then every day or every other day I go walks with the kids and they just bring them back. So now I feel less stressed. Yeah, less stressed. Yeah. I'm not only a Somali person that actually volunteers. A mom. Really? Yeah, so whenever I tell other moms, come, just volunteer one hour, they're like, no, I can't, I'm busy, I'm busy, so it's like, no problem. Also, it's because you tend to have quite a few kids, so I suppose it's in a way, it's like you're already busy. To For the, me, uh... at this moment, I'm a teacher at, at home. Okay. So we've got like a Google classroom, so where their teachers put stuff on the internet, and then I have to do like full sheets oh, per okay. child every day from Monday to Friday. Okay. So being a teacher at home is not easy because in school they go out, they play, they come back here, they do school work. But now it's like at home, you're like, you go watch TV while this is doing. I that. know. Is that you with your own kids yeah, or with other my kids? Own kids yeah, yeah. With my own kids. So it's like it's a bit. I'm used to it now. Well, I've been spending more time planting mm. <laughs> seeds. I've been playing more with my dog because I, he, I mean, even though we have a lot garden, he still wants to go out. But uh, basically, it's, it's how we can learn a lot from this and we can make a small structural changes in our lives for the community. Go on, you two. Stop standing. I know, I'm sitting. I just felt like I needed a cup of tea now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> after all that, yeah. Let me go and get the sheets and then we'll just go through them with the briefing. Thank you. 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 Three, four, five. If you go and get your car, bring it round to this gate here. We'll have that gate opened. Then you'll be able to drive up onto onto the concourse. Yeah. Can you put something in? Yeah. Certainly. And sign out when you go. If you forget, just give us a call and we'll sign you out. Oh, All right, cool. OK. Right, what did you think of the process last week? I think we were a bit like rabbits in headlights, didn't really know what we were doing to start with. Hopefully, though, we'll get the same route and we'll be a bit more organised. Yeah. I was really surprised at how heavy the bags were, but people got to eat. I'm glad you were driving, though, because my <laughs> sense of direction could have ended up anywhere. Haze, anywhere. <laughs> it's not a problem, really, is it? Mm. I'm on furlough. 
Yeah. Why, why not? Yeah. yeah. I like the last gentleman we went to see. Oh, yes. The elderly bloke who wouldn't let me put the bags in. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he said, I'm strong enough. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the logistics behind this is incredible, isn't it? The way people just come together and organised everything. As a volunteer group as well, so it shows that money it actually is an, an incentive for people to actually go out and help others. Yeah. It's just off the roll of our own back, and quite often you hear arguments, especially within mainstream media, yeah. about how human nature is to be naturally selfish, but I think this disproves that. Yeah, absolutely. This and others that go on around the country as well. Big local. That's how I started doing the boxing on a Thursday night. Yeah. From that, it just kind of, I got onto their WhatsApp sites and group chats and what have you. And then uh, Taz just reached out basically and said, you know, we need volunteers to help distribute food. And I got a message. And then, and then I volunteered you yeah, <laughs> as a driver. Yeah. But yeah, that's, that's how I got into it. Shows the best of humanity. Oh, yeah, completely, completely. I think that's what this lockdown has been showing of late. We like the food from like the food bank. Do you hear the moment Heston and some other part of Hanslow as well? So these are the areas I'm covering at the moment. I've been to two or three houses where the like all all families like, when I did with the food and they were very very happy. So which was I felt really really great as well. <laughs> Found it a bit strange. You can imagine, you know. But I've been through quite a few things over the years. But this is probably the worst being contained. But. Um, the thing is, with uh, the Heston West Big Local, they've made it a lot easier because they, everybody keeps in touch. I get lots of phone calls for support. I'm allowed a one hour a day, take the dog for a walk. I'm not allowed to go to the shops or anything, so it's a godsend for me. And it is for a lot of the people. I walk, the, I walk this area with the dog and they're all so grateful, especially the people with young children and some who are not at school now, so they're not getting school dinner, so this is helping them a hell of a lot, you know. My family said to me I'm not to go out, I, I can't go to the shops. So basically, it's life-saving. And I'm sure it is for a lot of people on this estate. It's been stressful, it's been hard work, and it's been challenging. So we are trying to all be in one light room house all together. There's me and five kids, so it is quite hectic. But apart from that, we are working around it. We are, we're getting there. We've received things like uh, Rice Krispies, Easter eggs around Easter time. We've received jam, meals that you can make, pasta, tuna, uh, mayonnaise, tomato sauce, milk, bread, butter, eggs, other cereals. So we've had loads of different stuff. We've done quite a lot and made quite a lot and enough has gone round. As I said, I've got a big family. The reason why I got involved in this project was because there were people that were receiving food parcels and they found, found it difficult to use the ingredients, basically. And I just thought that this was a good opportunity to almost give someone some skills. Yesterday, I created a video with um, all of the items that individuals may receive in their food parcels. I created some basic nutritious meals that they can do in their home. Some people are, are on benefits. Some people are no longer working because they've been their jobs no longer exist so I think it's brilliant that that food parcels are being delivered so that people don't do without because it's it's a really difficult time at the moment and you ha having to worry about paying bills and worrying about having a one hot meal for the day is super scary. <laughs>